Hey guys, Andrew Erickson here. Um, I want to explain to you guys this idea I've been work I've been thinking about lately, and uh, I think it makes sense if I show on the whiteboard. Um, this idea is a business model. This business model I'm calling the brand treadmill. Brand treadmill. Okay. Hopefully you can read this okay with the, I know there's a little bit of glare, but okay. So the idea is the brand treadmill. What we're going to do in the brand treadmill, uh, explain the whole thing. I know you're going to have a few things that you disagree with my model, but for the sake of the math, I'm going to uh, just assume a few things and make the math really easy. It's easier to understand, right? Okay, so brand treadmill. So the idea when you're doing an Amazon business is in a year, you launch 20 products. Yes, 20. 20 products. And you shoot for 5000 a month. 5000 per month. Um, and 5,000 is kind of like a baseline. And so for me, I always have, all my products have some seasonality in them. And so I like to do 15 months per year. Uh, again, I picked 15 because it makes the math a little bit easier, but we can, you know, you can, you can put in 10, you can put in 12, you can put in whatever. We actually do most of our math on an 18 month schedule. So we have a big Christmas push, but you know, so 15 is kind of, Again, this makes the math easy, but you're always going to have seasonality in everything, in, in everything, right? I mean, if you have office supplies, you're probably going to you're going to have a large August September. If you have presents, you're going to have a large um, November December time. And so, like, just you know, there's not many things that don't have at least a little bit of seasonality. So we're going 15 months per year, and we're going to say out of these 20 products, we're going to have a two third success rate. Success rate. Now, again, we're we're actually closer to 80 percent, 80 90 percent. But two thirds, again, it makes the math nice and easy. And so what this tells us, what this gives us here, um, if we bring all this, this is 100,000 per month. And 15 times two thirds is 10. And so this actually implies that you're going to make $1 million revenue per year one million dollars revenue so this is adding 20 products and if you already have 20 products i'm talking about adding a million dollars revenue so you start from zero you're, you're going from zero to a million uh, if you already have a million you're going from one to two million by doing this by doing this thing that's not too complicated. I think a lot of people kind of agree. I know you might you might disagree. Twenty products might sound like a lot to you. Five thousand might sound a little bit to you, or a lot. I don't know what it is, but but that you know that gives us one million dollars. Okay. Now, from that, we should have a twenty five percent net margin. And again, I know some people will disagree with that, but it makes the math easy. So twenty five percent margin, net margin. That's take home pay. That's not paying any salaries. So let's just leave that to the side here for a second. We have a 25 net margin. That means you're making a quarter million dollars in profit. Profit. Right? And if you sell your business for a 3x multiple, Sell for a 3x multiple, then uh, 250k means that you're going to have a one million dollar, or sorry, seven, 750 sale, 750 thousand dollar sale of your business. Okay, so now if you add all this up, this means that we're going to have a if we make if we make tw quarter million dollars profit. And we sell for seven hundred fifty thousand at the end of the year. Then that means that we are going to make one million dollars profit per year. Okay, cool. That's fun, right? A million dollars. That'd be very nice. Okay. So now uh, let's see if I can move over here. So now. If we are going to have a million dollars profit, 
um, we you create the business and you sell it and you're left with nothing, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to build a kind of a calendar, right? We're going to have uh, we're going to, we're going to build the treadmill. Here's the brand treadmill part. The treadmill. We're going to start. Um, this is year zero. Year one, year two, three, four, and so on. Okay, so we're doing like a five year, whatever, it doesn't matter. It goes for infinity, but just let's go out to five years. And this is the start of a business. And then this would be the sale of your business, to sell your business up here on, on the top. So now when we start on year zero, we grow this business over the course of two years. And after two years, we sell that business. Okay. So it take you know, start from zero. We add 20 products over the course of the next two years. Maybe you front load, maybe you start with five, maybe you start, maybe you launch with five and you add like one per month, and then you just kind of let it like like kind of mature over the last six months, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter that much. But you're getting from zero. You're going from start to sale in two years. A big, big reason why you do two years instead of uh, a month or whatever is you actually get a much higher multiple if you've been in business for over two years. You're eligible for like a whole bunch of like fancy loans. And a lot of people like to see your P&Ls over two years. I like to see like stuff that's been sitting there for a year and a half that's been selling consistently for a year and a half. People just give you a higher multiple. Okay. But when we sell, uh, sell after two years, uh, we want to start another business. We don't, we don't want to just like exit forever, right? So what we do is on year one, when, we've, when we're have when we beginning to mature this business, we might just kind of like, you, the tree has grown, you're just waiting for the oranges to pop out, the fruit to pop out and like ripen. We start our next business on year one. And again, we do with the idea that we're gonna sell it in two years. So here we sell, we sell in two years, okay? And then when we sell the first one, we go ahead and just start a new brand already. Do it again. We sell in two years. We pop that out, and you can kind of see the treadmill part, so on and so on, right? And so when we do this, what we're always doing, uh, you know, so the first the first year or two are building years, and and you might already have an Amazon business, so you might already kind of be right around here in this two three year mark already. You may already have one or two brands going, so you might already kind of be beginning of, of this model. So we'll kind of ignore like the beginning part. You can, but you know, if you're in the beginning part, it might take you a year or two to get to get up to these points. But you see here, if you're kind of like in the satiation point or the 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 maturity point, when you're at year, you know, year two, you're selling a business. You're you're kind of growing a business. You're halfway through to your to your um to your uh, million dollar per year revenue mark, and you're starting a business. And so you're always in the process of of getting ready to sell one maturing one and getting ready or just having started one, right? Okay, so that's the treadmill part. You're constantly just like you plop down the treadmill and it crick, 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 goes and pops off the end of the treadmill. Uh, and if you do this, this implies that you make and sell a business every two years. And, but because you're making two at any given time, you're always selling one. And if you sell one, you are making $1 million per Per year, one million dollars profit. That's take home. Now, uh, I know a lot of people will not like some of these numbers, and so I'm okay. You know, for the sake of the model, I make I make it a little simple. And so, there's a lot of things you can do to disagree in here. Thing, it, it, you can disagree with these stuff, right? These numbers. But one thing that I always like to say is, if you know what, even if I'm half wrong, half wrong means half wrong, right? Um, you're still making 500,000, right? So I'm still okay with that, right? Maybe maybe you have to pay three people $100,000 to, to help you build this thing with you. And so now you're actually making 700. Maybe the numbers over here are a little bit different and you get the, you lose another hundred, two hundred thousand dollars $200,000 here and there, right? But still, 500 is nice, right? At least it is for me. I don't know about you, but it is for me. Um, um, and now, of course, you can also disagree with all sorts of numbers around here, right? Maybe you think 15 is kind of silly and you want to have, I don't know, 10, or let's just say 12. Well, we can make it 12, 12. Um, 
maybe we want to say actually we want to we want to model it on uh um we actually model it on a uh, 80 what is that 90 80, 85%. This number still is a text multiples. That's okay, right? Uh, maybe you do only 15 products, but maybe you actually shoot for more like 7,000, right? 7,000 per month revenue. That gives you, that still gives you $100,000 per month, right? Or maybe you do 10, but you're shooting for a $10,000 multiple. That's still a hundred. So those numbers, those, you know, you can play with those numbers, but like those numbers I don't think are so bad. Um, so adding a million dollars revenue, a lot of people do this. So that's not, that's not that crazy. 25% margins. That's a little high. And so is uh, so is a three X multiple. So if you want to change these numbers down to 20% and if you want to change this to 2.5, then that would reduce everything by, uh, let's see here, one fifth. 20% uh, reduction here, basically 20% reduction here. So you're going to fall down by about a third. And so everything, um, this would be more like a $200,000, $500,000 sale, $500,000 sale, right? You're making 200K plus 500, you're making $700,000 still. That's still pretty good, right? 700, 000, so 20 times 2.5, this would be 500. And you would have a 200 here, 200 plus 500. $700,000 profit per year. And again, you'd still continue to do the treadmill. Maybe you want to even, maybe you can say like the treadmill is a little too aggressive doing starting and selling one every two years. Maybe expand out to three years and you just grow that out a little bit. You'd have actually would have more, more monthly profit. You'd have less um, sales profit, right? The business sale, but that's the idea. Uh, and I'm calling this the brand treadmill business model. And I'm curious, what do you guys think of this model? Do you think it doesn't make any sense? Do you think it's genius? Do you think it's really dumb? Uh, one of the beauties of this model too, that I, I think is better than a lot of other stuff, is that I think you can get this done with like one or two smart, smart Amazon, experienced Amazon sellers, and maybe uh, one or two employees, like kind of a, a like sort of experienced American or what we would call Western, Western educated uh, employees, and probably two, three um, uh, Filipino, um, uh, employees too. And so, uh, um, that, uh, I think this is, I think this can all be done with a team of like five people, honestly, two, two, three smart people, two, three kind of like, uh, uh minimum wage type people or, or median developing country wage people. And so this is the thing that gets me excited. And I think this is going to be our focus for 2020. And I'm curious what you think about this.